Howdy, I came across uh, Bleach Renji cosplay and I'm kind of fanboying it. I saw you yesterday in Bleach cosplay and I was fanboying s super hard. And yeah, you were so awesome. And then before on the Anime Next Facebook page, you posted some of your things and I was just like, I hope, I hope, I hope I have a chance to meet her because her work is so great. Oh, so oh, thank you. this is really, you're going to see pictures in above and below and awesome stuff. Thank Can, you so much. Can you introduce yourself and tell me about your cosplay today? Uh, hi, I'm Stella. I'm cosplaying Renji Ibarai from Bleach, Lieutenant of Squad 6. He's not my favorite character, but he's my favorite of the main characters. <laughs> um, why I'm cosplaying him? I I love characters with those like brash, outspoken, like fight me sort of personalities. So immediately I was like, oh, Renji seems like really fun to act like. And I love his character design and I love his hair. Like I yeah. love spiky hair characters. I also cosplay Shuhei Hisagi from Bleach. So okay. I like spiky hair characters. So I wanted to try and do his wig. And I love the shape of his Zanpakuto also. So yeah, so several reasons why I cosplay Renji. Cool. So. Uh, what got you into cosplay and what was your cosplay experience like? Oh my god. I got into cosplay when I was in eighth grade with my friends and uh, I think I discovered what cosplay was because I would just watch on YouTube like uh, convention footage like from masquerades and like people doing the skits and my friends and I were like, oh hey, we should do like, we should dress up like the characters too, that looks fun. So we did it for Naruto and it was really bad, like we looked terrible but... Did you have fun? But we had one, so yeah. <laughs> cool. So I know you must get questions like this from like friends, family, other people. Like, how do you explain cosplay to other people? Um, for me, it's just like you get like a rush of like being your favorite character or like a character that you're passionate about or think is just like a really fascinating personality. It's just, I guess, it's kind of like living your fantasy life not like i would actually want to be like in the soul society because i'd be ripped, so bad I, i'd be ripped to shreds in, like the go to 13 but um i guess it's just like a form of role playing like assuming someone the personality and like the appearance of someone who you admire or just are really passionate about so what do you like what would you say to someone who looks at you with shock and awe because you are so awesome but there's like, I want to I want to do that, but I'm shy. How do you encourage someone to get into cosplay even though they have those reservations? Um, it's not about how you look or anything. It's about the experience and having fun. And I've met like all my best friends now, aside from like a few from college, like I met through cons and through cosplay community and or through like cosplay meetups. So like, if you get into cosplay, it like opens up so many opportunities, like friendships and experiences at cons and stuff so I would just tell them that like in the grand scheme it's so worth it so awesome. you're obviously an anime fan is there an anime that you love so much that you wish everyone experienced yes okay. <laughs> yes Prince of Tennis the original really? yes yes Prince of Tennis one of the like OG sports anime and no one cosplays it anymore really but I remember Prince of Tennis years ago back in the do whole download everything days and I could never find season one of Prison T Prince of Tennis and everyone was raving about it on all the old anime forums, you remember those? Mm -hmm. Where everyone tells, you should watch this, I could never find it to try to, d to download it and I think when I tried to look for it to buy, I could not find season one for some reason. Yeah, um, I can actually find it really easily online. The sub, the dub ends at episode fifty, and the dub is terrible. Don't watch the dub. <laughs> like they said, it's before like American. Like card captain soccer it's bad. Like before voice American voice acting got like really good because I think it's like good now, but like way way back when in like nineties when like all the characters kind of sounded like the same person. It's like that, yeah. and uh, but yeah, it's funny because Prince of Tennis is like not super big in the states anymore but like in japan it's huge they have like a, a series of musicals for prince of tennis and they have like voice actor live shows where they like voice actors sing songs that they're like as their characters like it's huge in japan but like here in the states prince of tennis is like one of the kind of under the radar old anime that no one really does anymore so yeah people should get into that bring it back <laughs> uh can you tell me your social media Oh, sure. On Instagram, I am carpussycat, K-A-R-P-U-S-I, then C-A-T for cat. It's a, it's a Hitalia reference. <laughs> so. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot for talking. No worries.